Well, for the second straight game, the Idaho Steelheads collected an overtime victory as Ty Pell and Bice ended things minutes into the overtime session last night to even up the Mountain Division semifinals at two games apiece. It's game five here from the Maverick Center. The puck drop coming up at 7, 10 p.m. Cam McGuire here staying alongside Steelheads head coach Everett Sheen. Well, Sheener, we mentioned another overtime win. I bet the room was uh, pretty quiet after the game, right? Yeah, very quiet. Uh, no, the boys are pretty fired up, and as they should have been, you know, it was... Not the best first period that we wanted, you know, down 4-2, but to be able to claw back and tie it up and then, uh, you know, take the lead in the third and then still be able to stay focused when they tied it up and ultimately get the win was really big for our group. Talk about the ebbs and flows of that game. You get the first goal for the second straight night, but then you give up three unanswered and you mentioned down 4-2 after the first. Uh, you decided to use your timeout in period one. Tell me about that decision and what you told your team. Well, you know, just looking at the game, we were actually playing quite well, I thought. Um, just some pucks went in the back of the net, so we just kind of called it to calm our guys down, not get too riled up, say, hey, we're, we're, you know, we're playing well, let's stay with, uh, stay with the game plan here and trust the process. And I thought it, our guys responded well to that and just kind of even keeled ourselves. And obviously we got a goal, I think it was the next shift. And, um, but then, you know, obviously to stay focused after the first there was, was big for us. Four games now in the series. Three of them have been decided by one goal. Looking back to the regular season, a point we kept talking about over and over again was you guys getting to play in those one goal games down the stretch. I mean, looking back on it, those lessons were very valuable and have come through the last two games here. No, absolutely. We, like you said, we talked about it down the stretch there and playing playoff hockey and, you know, a lot of playoff games are decided by one goal. Um, you know, like I said before, it would be nice to have a couple that weren't, uh, you know, but credit to our group. They know what to do in those situations. They're not overwhelmed by them, um, and, they're, and they're, you know, find ways to execute. Well, it's been a collective effort all season long for the Idaho Steelheads, but the big-time players really came out to play last night. Ty Pelton, Bice, A.J. White each scoring twice, while the captain White also adding an assist. Wade Murphy and Jordan Kawaguchi, a goal and an assist as well. And when you can get your big-time players playing in big-time moments, it's probably going to lead to a lot of success. No, absolutely. That's what uh, you need in playoffs to go far is you know, your, your big guys need to step up uh, and, and kind of lead the way. And I thought they did a tremendous job of that last night. And, you know, like we spoke about all, all season long, our depth as well. Um, you know, Mizziak gets an assist there on the, the game winner. And, but if, when you can have both your, you know, quote unquote depth guys and your, your horses going at the same time, that's a recipe for success. Last night, two goals on the power play. That was a nice sign and another step in the right direction. No, absolutely. Like we talked about uh, after Wednesday, you know, even though it wasn't a traditional power play goal, I thought it was big for our group to get a little bit of confidence. And then, uh, you know, they executed our game plan last night and got rewarded for it. There'll be one change to the lineup here tonight. Demetrius Kumatsis comes out. Nick Kanade comes in on the defensive core, and uh, he's a big-time player for you guys. He's made an impact in this series against Utah. What's he going to add tonight? You know, like, very similar to Como. He's, he's fast. He's got a lot of skill. He plays a heavy game, even for a smaller defenseman. And, you know, throughout the season, he's had success against Utah. So uh, looking forward to him in the lineup tonight. Lastly here, a key to victory? Come out fast again. You know, really uh, do our best to dictate our style of play and, you know, stay with it and build off last night. There you have it. That's Steelheads head coach Everett Sheen. Game five of the Mountain Division semifinals here tonight from Utah at 7.10 p.m. before returning back to Boise. Game six on Monday night at the Idaho Central Arena. Coach, as always, thanks for the time. Best of luck and have some fun tonight. Thanks a lot, Cam.